smell it. That smell. The kind of smelly smell. The smelly smell that smells. Smelly. In early spring, that smelly smell you're smelling is probably that of a calorie pear tree. This is a calorie pear, and calorie pears are invasive, short-lived, deciduous trees that only live to be about 15 to 50 years old, and they grow to be about 9 to 15 meters tall. Now, there's a popular cultivar of this species called Bradford, which was introduced into North America in the 1900s for its beautiful early spring blossoms. Now, it was also thought that the Bradford cultivar was uh, not very invasive because it was self-incompatible, so it couldn't produce offspring with itself or with other members of the Bradford cultivar. However, people would create other cultivars of our calorie pair here, and these cultivars would breed with each other, and this would produce offspring that would go and invade natural areas and <laughs> creating all these invasive trees. All right. Now, additionally, the calorie pear has really weak wood and you wouldn't want to park under it during a storm because during storms, their limbs will fall off and they can cause a lot of damage. Bradford pears can be found in disturbed areas such as along roadsides and old fields, and there are many that still remain from past plantings. Many states have banned the planting of calorie pear trees altogether. Ohio even made it illegal to plant them. Many states, such as Missouri, have buyback programs where if you cut down a calorie pear in your yard, you will receive a new native tree to replace that old crusty calorie pear. If we take a look at the twigs, they are reddish brownish gray in color and about as slender as a pencil or a little less so, and they can be glabrous or pubescent. The buds are pointed with imbricate bud scales and they are reddish brown in color, but you can hardly see that because of the grayish pubescence that covers the buds. Also, every now and again, you might spot a thorn emerging from the twig. The pith is continuous, greenish brown, and circular. The bark is brown to gray in color and smooth when it's young, but as the tree gets older, the bark will form these scaly parallel ridges that occasionally will intersect. Now the leaves are simple, alternate, shiny, green to dark green, they'll get a bit darker when they're older, and they have a finely toothed margin that is slightly wavy. Also, in the fall, the foliage turns a dark reddish purple color. Now let's take another look at those flowers that make this tree so popular. The trees themselves are monaceous, so they have both male and female reproductive organs, but each flower is perfect, so both the male and female reproductive organs are contained within each flower. The flowers themselves are white, rounded inflorescences that bloom March through April and are insect pollinated. After pollination takes place, round brown fruits with white spots called pomes will form. Now an apple is a pome, so just imagine a really small apple. Now, these fruits will mature August through September, and they are animal dispersed. However, you can typically find these fruits dangling from the branches of a calorie pear tree during the wintertime, so I don't know how much the animals actually like these fruits. All right, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed learning about the calorie pear with me. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my next video.